Hello, Hikari Knight here. In this video, I will show you how you can store the Jagus cache in a custom directory using the RuneScape Unix client. In uh, version 4.2.2, I added a feature which lets you move the Jagus cache to the custom directory. So, the first thing you have to do is uh, start the RuneScape Unix client, click on settings. And then you have JAX cache location, which is usually set to let RSU choose automatically or portable. Here we have custom directory, not portable, because it stores the setting in a different variable for each operating system. So if you click here and choose custom directory, it will enable this text field and this button over here. I will store this uh, RuneScape cache inside my Steam hard drive and inside RuneScape, in the RuneScape folder there, which is empty. And I will show you in the file browser that it's also empty, as you can see here. And uh, I will then click save. This will now make uh, the RuneScape client store the RuneScape cache, the beta cache, and the old school cache inside this folder. As you can see now, when I click play now, it will start generating files here. And there we go. Jagus cache, RuneScape, live. And we will soon hear the classic RuneScape music. And as you can see on uh, old school, it will do the exact same thing. I click play now, um, play old school. It will start loading up, and uh, there we got old school. Now to prove to you that uh, this is not just something I have set the computer to generate automatically, I will delete this. Set the setting back to portable, which is my usual cache location. Save it, and I will click play now. As you can see, there's no folders being generated or any files because it loads it and loads it from the portable location, which is inside the client itself. And uh, that is uh, everything, I think. No, um, the thing is, loading the cache from a custom directory works on the RuneScape Unix client. I'm not sure if it works on the official Mac client by adding the parameter, but I will tell you what the parameter is and maybe make a video on how to do it if it actually works. On the official Windows client, however, Loading the cache from a custom directory directly, like this client does, it is not possible because the executable file will just crash each time you try to tell it load the cache from this location instead of uh, the usual location, so yeah. Also, please excuse the echo in my room. I'm in the middle of moving, there's not a lot of stuff in my room to soundproof the room so I'm sorry if this is a bit echoey even though I have a new microphone setup and stuff anyway have a nice day I hope you have enjoyed this video and see you guys in the future